Welcome back to another episode of the Cedar House Sessions, a collaboration between the Haida Gwaii Radio Society and the Gang Gang Hotel God Independent Music and Arts Cooperative. We are broadcasting to you live from Haida Territory in beautiful Skidigit, Haida Gwaii. My name is Marcus, and I'm really excited to welcome our guest today. Early July is a spoken word poet who came down from Masset in the north end of Haida Gwaii to be on our show today. Thanks so much for coming down. Hawa, it's a pleasure. Uh, do you want to take us away with a poem? Absolutely. So I'm texting myself a message in a compulsive stance of Eureka, I solved it. The open road between minds and impulse to release the mouth, the hand, the pen, grip like epidermal. When I write, it acts like sedative, channeling my life, a river drawn by force to return to its source, indebted with no other course but to rage on like white water with the spirit of one last wild horse. Free because it's rarely ever seen but believed in. And I know, I know, I've never known what voice to use to call it. My voice hoarse from smoke and dust and blood. All too common emblems of negligence. Built in systems created with the purpose of defense. Feel broken down again. Used like mm. tissue. Tossed away after being drained into. So I chose and continue to choose to sew rhymes like sinewy thread in an attempt to hold our heads together. It's more than code, it's bone, it's stone. It's grown gigantic and sunk low like the Titanic. It's about legend, like finding the brain stems of ancestors who came down from the heavens bringing language. And now we languish in state of the art entertainment centers in killer 3D. Rather, maybe that's me, caught with a faulty sense of future because the present and past are muted with labor, and I'm kinetic. So I cater to whatever suits your mood while I get to the task, sweeping the game with a janitor's broom, facing the haters, facing the internal wrestle of two distinctly different directions, meeting in the middle, face to face, looking away, afraid to commit to anything. I know I stray off the straight lines when I feel confined, but I won't decline, no. Every day a chance to be the best we can believe in, yes. Invest in our inner potential. You and me, we're feeling in every way. Mind, heart, body, soul, south and north poles, east to west coasts, frontier or fringe. Yo, we still got our votes. Things are changing. No longer looking to save me from you or chasing means to be freer. Depending on how one sees it, I'm blowing the mind without paper. Talk to you the same way I do with a microphone. Hoping to stitch back a little piece of soul, speaking with purpose and channeled cadence, perhaps possessed and class. The class your mama threatened to slap back in your face if you weren't grateful, graceful, obedient. I say with a smile, a rueful laugh. Difficult to let the past go back down its own path at last. Be here now, not outcast by my own boundary. I help myself by living proudly, not in despair. My dreams manifested like a Care Bear stare. So I'm rabbit foot lucky, but I got nothing but what I hold in my hands. Such massive hands, perfect for pianos and push-ups, to which I do neither, so I keep my lips shut tightly. Sealed as a lid on a cup like beliefs, like how I neither bow nor kneel to anything above me save the moon and the sun. Choose to brood instead of play. Sit with that weight of the universe expanding then re-examine what I consider to be demanding. We can do this all day. Everywhere I see things don't have to be this way but we're so in motion. I say we gotta take a look at the breaks. It's the beats. An innate belief that music and art set us free. Made from the stuff of dreams. Made with cream, not skim. Thin on plot but thick with theme. Like double hem seam sewn in knots. But I got caught in the rhyme screams and riddles Resisting the rap that urges me to swing the masculine bat Belittle adversity Tip my hat to feminine rants The challenged instead of danced around the truth Not a lot of balance exists on this planet No, we choose to consume Attempt minimal waste Register for returns from that old Canadian legacy Through tax rebates 
but still some choose to hate First Nations no matter how much more we seize or we take I tend to write after midnight the height of absurd wordplay too exhausted to block it cause no matter the moment rivers run through it webs weaving history instantly yet captured with slow motion like staring long into the ocean be able to see each wave rippling out distantly the waters miss you too sister persistently finally feeling level instead of embezzled after being dazzled and suddenly saddled with reality like what's the path we walk what's the totality of my action where do you go from here ravens roost but i'm a turtle with a roaming home that i want to be near take no offense to my comfort here an absent-minded squatter forgetting where he's from fidgety like otters out of water like my daughter in her car seat like her father at all of his track meets feel my best when moving feet fast as, as an athlete but brutally out of shape betrayed by the physicality of a busy day exhausted as the playoffs but that don't stop me from rocking black and white knee socks like it's soccer or back when my pops told me to resurrect that knicker box but yo I prefer these poems to Rolling Stones and Beatles. Give me old school soul like Ann Peebles and good old classic rock like Bob Seger. He loves to watch her strut. You're listening to Early July here on the Cedar House Sessions. Wow, thanks so much for coming in and sharing your poetry with us. <laughs> really, really amazing stuff. Um, you perform under the stage name of Early July. Do you want to just shed a little bit of light on the origins of this persona and what it means to you? Uh, early July. Uh, I'm born in July, uh, July 6th. Um, that's really where that moniker came from. Uh, but I, I think the idea behind Early July was a project I was writing before I moved to Haida Gwaii. Um, and without really kind of like fleshing it out too, too much, I think Early July is a, is a historian or a, um, a documentarian capturing kind of the last um, story of humanity before some big inevitable end comes and wipes us out. Um, and Early July has chosen, instead of being caught in kind of the, the, the machine and the traps of technology and kind of this modern world we're in, I think he looked behind him and wanted to go back to a bit of a world of tradition um, and, and far and away a different culture from uh, the urban society that he, he grew up in. Because hmm. most people here on Haida Gwaii know you as Andre, the very talented <laughs> chef. Um, it's cool to see you performing your poetry under this persona. But can you tell us a little bit about your experience as a cook here on Haida Gwaii and how you express yourself through your food? I've uh, <clears throat> I've been uh, when I came to the island I'd I'd been cooking for about 13 14 years um, and I can say in the time that I've been uh, here I've had the best experience uh, cooking um, uh, I've been able to feed almost the whole island work in different spaces have access to different kitchens all around um, I feel like access has been a really uh, big part of my experience here um, and two, I think when I, when I moved to the island, I, 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 I put the writing away, I put performance away a little bit and really just focused on, on work. I had my own restaurant for a couple of years, um, and, and I've put a lot of hours into the kitchen. Um, and so as a result, I think a lot of my artistry or, or, or the capacity to express myself has gone into the food has gone into uh, creating atmospheres, uh, holding and hosting events, and, and providing uh, food that, that brings everybody together. And, and um, uh, also, too, I think, takes advantage of the fact that we're in an area uh, and an environment um, where people are growing food. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I think Haida Gwaii is a, a, a really special place. Um, to share that part of culture with people. I know that for firsthand experience, people here really appreciate new food experiences as well. And uh, you've got a new tow truck or a food truck going on called the tow truck. Yeah, it's I, really exciting to have that 
in the town that I live in, especially, I like I love coming by, <laughs> trying out the new items. It's like a revolving menu. Uh, tow trucks been in existence um, since August of last year, 2018. Uh, it's owned and operated by Andrew Moncrief, um, who uh, had always been interested in in partnering up with me uh, in terms of creating a really great menu. And we've been lucky to have uh, Brody Swanson, uh, a head of chef who operates out of um, um, Ocean House, uh, Eco Lodge. Um, he's been with us for a few months before he, he goes back out for the summer. And I can say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really satisfied with, with the direction tow truck's taking. Um, and, and I'm excited to, to work in there every day. And, and the way that the community has come and supported us has been immense. Well, yeah, I can yeah. say for sure the customers are satisfied with the food. <laughs> we can we can really feel the the passion and love that you guys are putting into the food. I am going to ask you to put your chef hat aside for a second, put the early July hat back on. Do you want to take <laughs> us away with another poem? Absolutely. Perfect. Back to playing with language again and again with no restraint, shackled by no chains when it comes to praying on paper, preaching on stage. Men know so much of our life is playing a game. Mama knows I get caught in the brain, looped up like reel to reel, wound and rewound till I go a little insane. Say you get that from your father, don't remember his name, maybe his name is Gordon, maybe he from Jamaica, but the memory causes my mama pain. So I spent most of my life being my own maker, not knowing I was being molded by moments golden like olden days, painted within pieces of broken frames, forged inside licks of open flames. Tame compared to the raven I know who stole the sun to bring hypolite to her babes. I train rage into the pen, only to defend against the insecurity that creates fear in me. I am my own worst enemy. But enough about me, what about you who came through another winter of heart's discontent to prove you are the champion. One night rock star, tonight on top of rock underneath the stars. One night rock star, tonight on top of rock, underneath the stars. Comes back to playing with language again and again with no restraint, shackled by no chains when it comes to praying on paper, preaching on stage. Men know so much of our life is playing a game. Mama knows I get caught in the brain, looped up like reel to reel, wound and rewound till I go a little insane. Say you get that from your father. Don't remember his name. Maybe his name is Gordon. Maybe he from Jamaica. But the memory causes my mama pain. So I spent most of my life being my own maker, not knowing I was being molded by moments golden like olden days, painted within pieces of broken frame, forged inside licks of open flames. Tame compared to the raven I know who stole the sun to bring hypolite to her babes. I train rage into the pen only to defend against insecurity that creates fear in me. I am my own worst enemy, but enough about me. What about you who came through another winter of heart's discontent to prove you are the champion? You're listening to the Cedar House Sessions here in beautiful Haida Gwaii. We have early July here in the studio with us. Really happy to have you, man. Thanks Thank again. Thank you, Marcus for sharing your poetry with Cheers. us. Um, I understand you use a mixture of backing tracks that you produce yourself and uh, tracks that were created by others. Uh, do you wanna just talk a little bit about the relationship between your words and the music that you choose to accompany them 
and your experience working with other people and other people's music? That's an amazing question. I um, <clears throat> a lot of the time when I write, uh, um, I'm writing without music. Um, I'll have music playing in the background, but it's not. I'm not writing for the purpose of matching the words to music. Um, in my collaborations, I've 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 worked with live you know live musicians, live music, um, or I've worked with producers and DJs. Um, and I don't necessarily have a preference. I think it's more about what sound gets created. Um, for the purposes of my poetry, I'm, I've, I've always really wanted a soundscape that's open enough for the words to um, exist almost um, apart from, but also really um, be fluid and, um, and work with, with the music. If ever I'm in collaboration with somebody, it's super important that there is an equal presentation of, of what each person is, is um, contributing. Um, so it's really important to me that that um, if I'm working with somebody's music, that they are acknowledged, uh, they're comfortable with what sound they're putting out, um, um, and that there's room in all of this in the performance for an audience to to hear the music, hear the words, and know where it's coming from. Uh, in this particular instance today. Um, the first piece and the last piece are done to compositions that I created. And I've only been making music um, maybe for the last three or four years. Um, and, you know, I get started, do it for a little while, drop out of it, get back into it. And um, I've just come out of a period of not doing it and I'm now getting kind of back into it. And I, I want to I wanna keep that going. Um, and I've recently met uh, my latest collaborator, Thomas Arnatt, who's uh, usually affiliated with the mural art, artwork that he does around the island. Mm -hmm. um, and I just found out recently that he, he creates um, um, electronic music. And the last piece that I, I just performed to is a Thomas Arnatt uh, composition. And um, so far, our, our relationship and our connection has been, um, uh, it's felt really kind of um, ripe and right and um, and we and we have plans just to to see where this goes. Um, give this give this give this some time and some opportunity and see where it goes. Yeah, it's it's interesting because you were, you mentioned you don't write your poems w with music uh, in mind, no. and it seems like Thomas had all of these tracks already yeah. uh, that he hadn't produced with words in exactly mind. and the, the the fact that they you know sat so nicely together is just kind of like serendipitous yeah, maybe absolutely it was just meant to be absolutely and 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 you know i've been i've been doing spoken word and performance and collaboration pretty much since i was 20 21 years old um and and so in the last 16 17 years i think there's been times where i've met someone like thomas and had that um, affiliation and and have felt kind of like a spiritual kindredness to the music and and the words. Um, it, it it's rare, mm. but when it's ha when it does happen, you you need to honor it. Mm. And um, Thomas, like I'd heard about him, someone had mentioned to me maybe a year and a half ago that he created electronic music, and I I might have sent him a message on inst Instagram or something, but he just got back to me two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So this and we, is really fresh. And this is fresh. And we met each other for the first time a few days later. Mm -hmm. And we had an opportunity to rehearse before an open mic I did just a few days ago. Um, and he came up with me, or came down to Queen Charlotte with me uh, to cue the tracks and be a part of the performance. And that's the most time that I've had to spend with him um, since we've met. Well, so. I, I definitely hope <laughs> you guys keep working together because it sounds really awesome. Thank you. Uh, I've been witnessing a bit of a blossoming spoken word scene here on Haida Gwaii, and uh, you're definitely a key and active member. Do you want to just talk really briefly about how it makes you feel to see more and more people sharing their poetry and more spoken word featured in local events? I'm, I'm really happy. Last year, Edge of the World, um, there was a, a bit of a pilot project uh, where the second stage was a poetry stage, and um, um, two 
acts were brought from off island and there were two uh, uh, performers from island myself uh, and Alexis Coombe who <clears throat> I had met just before Edge of the World and I've witnessed her poetry performance and um, she's excellent she comes she comes from a kind of a different angle than I do um, but I was really excited and thrilled when I met her and 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 got to experience her poetry um, and I know of I know of you know from open mics and whatnot. I know of a few people who have the capacity and the interest, um, but I know that it's just like really under the surface right now. Mm -hmm. And um, I definitely want to want to step out and demonstrate what I, what I, what I'm able to do. And 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 but I want to draw people out at the same time. And if this is a if this is this is how that happens. I I hope I hope a few more people take interest and are like, hey, what's the possibility? It doesn't have to look like this. It doesn't, you know, uh, my my influences are very different from everybody else's. Um, but I I certainly hope to see in mass it. Um, but anywhere on island, just uh, those people who are privately writing right now and and uh, maybe a little shy to share what they have to. Um, I want to create a space where they can come and, and do that. Well, I think these spaces are starting to open up they more really and are. more, which yeah. is really exciting. Yeah. Um, before we sign off here, you have another poem for us. Before we get into that, I just wanted to mention if our listeners are enjoying the products that um, Haida Gwaii Radio Society is putting out there you can and want to know more about how to support our programs, you can go on to HaidaGwaiiRadio.org and click the Become a Sponsor link for more information. It'll be all there on the website. Today, we've had in the studio early July. It's been awesome to have you here. And uh, this has been another episode of the Cedar House Sessions brought to you by the Haida Gwaii Radio Society and Gingang Hotel God Independent Music and Arts Cooperative. Do you want to take us away with the last poem? Absolutely, Marcus. Hello. Thank you. I'd like to acknowledge that we are privileged and blessed to be on unceded Haida territory. Sick of the rants, sick of the dance, sick of chanting down Babylon, sick of the man, sick of his plans, sick of singing the same old songs. Sick of the rants, sick of the dance, sick of chanting down Babylon. Sick of the man, sick of his plans, sick of singing the same old songs. Singing the same old songs. Sick of falling flat on my ass, catching disasters as they happen. Hoping this is the first time we manifest magic as reaction to the horrors we left trapped in the belly of the earth, scratching the surface. No telling what the worst damage was done by church and state, manipulating verses by poets for patriotism and faith in systems that constantly subjugate women based on fear, inferiority and hate. The only ones able to relate are missing faces, voices, names in a resting place with no choice for their children but early graves or vanishing in chains forged by mental slavery and abandoned shame. The only ones able to relate are missing faces, voices, names, and a resting place with no choice for their children but early graves or vanishing in chains forged by mental slavery and abandoned shame. Where I lived, the destination was once in the top 10. Now I see new faces less often, just more buildings rotten and green spaces serving as coffins for an old world, all but lost in amen. All but lost in amen. Out of the woodwork, I'm similar to silver. Quick, Fleetfoot by Nike, or was it Fleetwood with Nicks? 
Few really knew the extravagancy with which we lived. Whole villages sharing a wage for our day in the life, richly wishing many of us an afterlife in hell that won't go swiftly. First world problems swell, while the third world adapts quickly. Adapts quickly. Few really knew the extravagancy with which we lived. Whole villages sharing a wage for our day in the life richly. Wishing many of us an afterlife in hell that won't go swiftly. First world problems swell, while the third world adapts quickly, quickly. Some cats flow, some cats front, some cats spit yippee i yo, and some cats sing yippee kaye, motherfucker. Some cats flow, some cats front, some cats spit yippee i yo, some cats sing yippee kaye, motherfucker. I sit genetic shotgun. Twist chronic bop gun. I've got odd nostrum, you want some? I come from the line of thought, you cannot complicate what you ought with what you are. You be you, I be me. Isms do not balance what is. These words confusing like saying Confucius, but this pen swims like my blue fish over these blue lines. My intent is to stop time. For a second, stay your shoulder rested. Attend to the attention you invested into all these tenses we exist in. Past, present, future. Past, present, future. The sound of the earth turning is what the mute heard when he saw through the eyes and his ears, but he could not speak a word. So he chose to stay near eternal truth. It did not require show nor proof, but a love he would not use despite three-dimensional images throwing hate into his vision. The sound of the earth turning is what the mute heard when he saw through the eyes and his ears, but he could not speak a word. So he chose to stay near eternal truth. It did not require show nor proof, but a love he would not lose, despite three-dimensional images throwing hate into his vision. Thought, sound, decision, no, di no, no, no division. Staying linear is a matter of writing on one line, but I find my rhymes broken after every time I write. Although the sonic dated, the related articulation remains the same. Poetry's no game, I feel this is strategy. My main script reflects that tragedy. Open wounds exposed, bear witness to all who have eyes closed. Because some cats front, some cats flow, some cats sing yippee i yo, and some cats spit yippee kaye motherfucker, and pull guns on each other. In some places, this is going to be another hot summer. In some places, this is going to be another hot summer. Traces of prior season vanish like reason. Suddenly I've forgotten what I feared. Insecurity shaven like my brother's beard, leaving stubble to replace the hairy rubble at my feet. What remains is belief. To stand with face naked and defy the instinct to retreat. What remains is belief. To stand with face naked and defy the instinct to retreat. Some cats flow, some cats front, some cats sing yippee i -o. some cats spit yippee ki -yay. Yippee ki -yay. Thank you. 
I needed that time to vibe out, make vines sprout new leaf. This expression is some random river that feeds those who need to quench their thirst with word. As the beat glides like a beautiful bird, what's the word? I'm holding this book like a frame wrapped with canvas, handheld, stabbing the pages like I'm painting in broad strokes. Hiding out cloaked, but my light shines brightest when it's closest to its source. So I throw away all context. This veil of one threat silencing six billion voices multiplied by one of two choices, Pepto-Bismol or Evian water. Full on war, the inevitable slaughter of all we believe to be. In an instance, my thoughts become music, harnessed beneath tips of fingers and my two lips on the MIC tight, yo. I like to hype a lot, but I'm down to talk deep down underground like whispers heard between the sounds. Root to ground, root to ground, root to ground. Witness this hyper siren sound. I fuck up my nouns, derail the train of thought often blocked by the other side of the brain. Caught up with the refrain, gotta win this game, gotta win this game, gotta win this game. I guess I got no one else to blame but myself. Question the wealth from pushing out. Question the wealth from pushing out. All the while my mind telling me to keep pushing these forces in. Absorb, release, absorb, release, absorb, release. Everything meets with its just reward. And the ego part of me soared higher than heights can reach hyperspace. A millennium falcon when bird starts talking warp speeds. Distorting the gravity of the age of memory. I will never stop remembering now. The past parts like waves on the prow of my ship. The brow of my lip is wet with sweat. Let too much face show, not enough heart. But let us not be martyrs, no, just artists. That's the hardest thing to accept within this construct. This corner of street, abandoned, lost, no cost to build boards and advertise in high definition, submit to the submission. Overt intentions of feeding junk to brains, not the same as jungle, not the same as screaming uncle to majesty. Love the type of beat that make you lean back, bang your head black, but baby, I'm all the colors of jazz. I'm all the colors of jazz. Is it? 